Good day everyone! My name is James Zoe Emma Bion from Group 1. And today we'll be discussing our correlational research titled The Effects of Fugas Pigas on the Growth of Lettuce, also known as Lactoca Sativa. Now let me introduce to you my fellow researchers, Mark Ryan G. Albino, Rainel A. Katakutan, and Marvin Bolaños. Now let us welcome Marvin Bolaños to discuss the research gap and the purpose of the study. Now that we can proceed to the research gap, according to the research of my fellow researcher, many studies that have proven that hookah gas contain nutrients that promote plant growth and can be used as an alternative source of water and natural fertilizer. The part of the National Competition Council, which is for hookah gas include plant growth, promoting potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus elements. The starches in the ice water referred to as hookah gas also include the carbohydrates that make being stored in the plant cell membrane and utilized as a source of energy as well as helpful micro microorganisms such as lactobacilli and mycorrhizae that will promote plant health. Although multiple studies have proven that efficacy of hookah gas only a few compared to the, to the difference between the plant growth when using hookah gas or tap water, lacking sufficient data and evidence to support the use of hookah gas as an alternative water source and natural fertilizer. Therefore, we conducted comparative analysis between the plant growth and that type of water used in order to determine if there is a significant difference in a deep in plant growth between the use of focus gas and tap water. Now, we can proceed to the purpose of the study. First, the study was conducted in order to identify focus gas contributes and promote the growth of plants. Second, to identify whether the nutrients found in hookah gas is the main variable, the main variable that affects the growth of plant. Third, also to determine if there is a significant difference in plant growth between the use of hookah gas and top water. Statement of the problem. Statement of the problem one: What is the weekly average length of the lettuce using 1.1 hookah gas and 1.2 top water? Statement of the problem 2. What is the average length width of the lettuce using 2.1 hookah pigas and the 2.2 tap water? Statement of the problem 3. There's a significant difference in the growth of the lettuce with or without using hookah pigas. Thank you, Reynel Katakutan, for discussing our statement of the problem. Now let us proceed to our data presentation. For the statement of the problem 1, we created a table containing the weekly measurements on the length growth of the lettuce. As you can see in the table, the use of hookah bigas yielded a greater length than in the use of tap water, with hookah bigas having a mean of 2.98 cm and tap water having a 2.3 cm. Now let us proceed to the statement of the problem 2. To answer this, we also created a table containing the weekly measurements on the width growth of the lettuce. As you can see in the table, the use of hookah bigas also yielded a greater width than in the use of tap water with hugas bigas having a mean of 1.51 cm and tap water having 0.73 cm. Now let us welcome Mark Albino to present the data gathered answering the statement of the problem 3. Now let's proceed on the statement of the problem number 3. Is there a significant difference on the growth of lettuce with or without using hugas bigas? After my fellow researchers presented the data gathered from the previous table, we the researchers created a two new separated table to determine if there is significant difference with or without using hookah bigas in the length and width of a lettuce. In the first table, which is the length, the researchers input the data gathered from the statement of the problem number 1 to x sub 1, which is the hookah bigas, and x sub 2, which is the top water. After inputting the data, researchers squared the two independence variable and compute the total to get the mean and sum of square of a two variable. Now to find the degrees of freedom and the critical value, researchers add the total of two sets of treatment and minus it by two, getting the six, de six degrees of freedom. Since our degree of freedom is six, researchers define the critical value in t-test table at the 0 0.05 alpha value, getting 1.943 critical value. Now researchers get the sum of words, mean, degrees of freedom, and sets of each treatment. Researchers can now compute the t-value getting 
Since that a value has less value than the critical value, therefore there is no significance difference between the length of lettuce using hugas bigas or tap water on the growth of lettuce because the computed value or t value failed to reject the null hypothesis. While on the way the significance difference, since its computed value getting 2.649 resulting on a reject the null hypothesis. Now Mr. Abion, you can now proceed to the conclusion of the study. Thank you, Mark Albino, for discussing the statement of the problem 3 and presenting the data gathered. Now, let us proceed to the conclusion. Results were obtained weekly from the lettuce's length and width growth, with the researchers conducting five trials in total with four failed tests due to the lettuce plant being completely eaten by pests. Although the length growth had no significant difference, the results from the width growth and the weekly growth measurements prove that the concept of fugas bigas as an alternative water source and natural fertilizer was plausible. The researchers also noted various extraneous variables, such as the change in temperature, number of pests near the testing site, and other uncontrolled factors that occurs when the researchers are not present to observe them. Furthermore, the results obtained varied, as there was no significant difference in the length growth between the use of fugas bigas and tap water, while there was a significant difference in the width growth within the use of fugas bigas and tap water. Now let us proceed to Rainil Katakutan discussing recommendation. Recommendation. Several recommendations for future researchers develop as the study progress. Due expense, a researcher use home testing instead of lab tests. It is advised to do a lab test or similar expenses to do a better understanding nutrients in hugas bigas that simulate plants development demonstrating or disproving or its usefulness as a recyclable source of water or natural fertilizer. The researcher also found several extraneous factors that affected lettuce plant development. The of regulated environment of the weather change inhibited lettuce development. Future studies should ex examine lettuce development in the greenhouse to maximize and variable affecting the lettuce growth.